the people of Tanjavur had a personal admiration for the Pavurch brothers. Aren't those who gave new glory and influence to that old city, Pulvatereas? Bhavani with elephants, horses, and camels means that he delights in entertaining people on any given day. Moreover, whether or not the officer, the great punisher, went out of Tanjore, or entered the fort after going out, people would gather on both sides of the road and watch, they will chant, they will congratulate, it will rain rain and hail. Normally, if the elder brother comes from outside, the younger one will stand at the castle gate and welcome him. The sight of brother and sister embracing when they see each other is like the Nilgiris and Podokai hills embracing each other. If the two rode side by side on two elephants or horses, ten thousand eyes would have seen the scene. Some compare the Pavurch brothers to Iraniya and Iraniatsan. Still others call them Sundopa Sunders. There are those who say that Rama and Bharata are similar brothers, while Vimana and Aruchana are similar heroic brothers. But today when the great conqueror entered the fort of Tanjore, there was no tumult in the streets, though his entourage raised the usual slogans, there is not much crowd. Little Pulavetarayar did not wait to come to welcome his brother at the gate of the fort. But the officer ignored this and went straight towards his brother's house. He thought that the younger man must be involved in some important matter. There was a suspicion that perhaps the emperor's health had become very bad, or, or that a big thing had happened. Therefore, his entourage marched faster than usual and reached the palace of the fort commander Chinapalyavatarayar. Excitement and worry were seen on the commander's face when he came to greet Tom Ayan at the palace gate. He saluted Tom Ayan and embraced him. Both went inside the mansion. They immediately entered the private Mandira consultation hall. Both were private, brother. Kalan Taka. What kind of person are you? Is there anything special? Is the emperor well? Asked Tamayanar. Kalan Taka Kandar. The petty tyrant, said, the emperor is the same as ever. There is no development in his happiness, no decay. Said. Then why is your face so pale? Why didn't you come to the castle gate? The town has become a bit less bustling. Asked the elder. Brother. A small incident has happened. Nothing spectacular. I'll tell you about it later. How about all the things you've been doing? Asked Kalanthe Kondar. Kajumbalar Vilan may object to these three buses. Kajumbaluran is not here among them, he is in Sri Lanka. What can the other two flip? It is necessary to tell the emperor as soon as possible and decide immediately. Said the great farmer. Whatever you say about the leaders is right, the people. What if the people object? Asked Kalantagakangdur. It would be surprising if the foolish people who think that do not chant long live Maduran take a Chakravarti. Anyway, what do you care when I'm the only one? But there's an army of witches. How to deal with them? The Vilakara soldiers were the ones who sacrificed their lives only for Sundara Chola, and not for his children? Even if they interfered, where did your fort guard go? Do you have to catch so many people in a single day and throw them in the dungeon? Brother. The important opposition will come from the old room. I don't know what tricks the old woman and the girl will do together. That is the main thing to watch out for. Brother. Kalan Taka. Are you telling me to be afraid of two girls who are going back and forth? I have a substitute for all their tantrum mantras. Don't worry. The emperor has ordered that the two children should be sent to Tanjore. Aditha Kari Kalan will not come. Perhaps Aromazai's father is leaving on orders. If he does, we must stop him. They can come only after Madurantha has been crowned prince and placed on the throne with all the powers. They must not come before that. Leave this to me. Otherwise, you would have said that some little special thing happened here. What is that? A young man came from Kanchi. He brought a straw for the emperor and a straw for Kundave. What have you done to him? Have you imprisoned him by plucking the leaves? No, brother. He said he saw them at Katapur and told them to give them to the emperor in person. Is that true? 
Aha! Uh -huh. It's a lie. An uninvited youth from Kadapur, who had come saying he was a friend of Kanamaran. But he never told me that he had brought the straw. I doubted it just by looking at his face. Have you been deceived by him? Yes, brother. I was fooled. I was fooled because I told them their names. Oh you fool! What have you done so foolishly? Have you given the leaf to the emperor? Can't you even look at it? I saw. There was nothing in it. Kanchi had written to come to the golden mansion. The young man was saying something like danger after giving the leaf away. After all, didn't you suspect and imprison? Suspected, but not imprisoned. Then what did you do? He said he wanted to see the town. I sent two men behind to see and come. He tricked them and disappeared. I was making arrangements to look for him. That's why I didn't even come to the gate of the fort. I have warned the people of the town. Oh dear! Are you a man too? Were you fooled by a little boy who didn't grow a mustache? I named you Kalantakakondan, I want to destroy my stupidity. I made you the commander of the fort? That's what I needed. Aren't you ashamed to say that he cheated you by using my name as an excuse? He didn't just say your name. He showed you your signet ring. Did you give it to him? No way. Am I a fool like you to be fooled like that? It's true he had the signet ring. He showed it to me. He showed it to the castle gatekeepers and got in. If you hadn't given it to him, there's only one place he could have gotten it. Who do you mean? Couldn't they have guessed? I mean Ila Irani. Chi Chi. Be careful. I'll cut off your tongue. Cut out the tongue, cut off the head. I'll say what I've wanted to say for a long time. You keep a poisonous dragon at home because you think it's cute. It's going to bite one day. It's going to destroy us all. Don't. Chase her away. Kalante Kakanda. Today I am going to tell you something that I have wanted to tell you for a long time. You can freely express your opinion about any other matter. If you don't like what I do, you can criticize me boldly. But let alone say a word about the woman I married by the hand, the same one who raised you. I will kill you with my hands. I who told you to hold a knife, I will snatch your knife and cut you to death. Beware. The two brothers then had a fierce fight like a lion fighting a lion. Their voice was like the roar of a lion. Although they spoke in the private counseling hall, everyone waiting outside heard their voices like thunder without knowing what the details were. Everyone was shaking what the hell.